All right, I want to start off by saying, Brakatha Yahawu, Brakatha Yaharasha, Brakatha Yahawu, Brakatha Yaharasha, Call Hala Yahawu by Hashem Yaharasha, Call Hala Yahawu by Hashem Yaharasha, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, our great millstone, our told this doctrine and truth and sincerity. Shalom to the elect, the Heavenly Father's name is Yahawu, which means he is or he exists. By Hashem, in the name of his only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, we know his name to be Yaharashai, which means he is the deliverer, he is the savior for the Hebrew Israelites from the pedigree of your father. By Hashem, in the name of the Rokak Wadash, which means the Holy Spirit, is able to give us the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of who we are, which are the true Hebrew Israelites. The so called Negro, so called Latino, so called Native American, or of the speckled bird, looking like the other nations, and your spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahabash Shai. You could be one elect. Shalom. We've been discontinued from our heritage because we went off following after false gods and false idols, not following the law, and commitments that was given to us by our forefathers. And because of those offenses, we were sent into captivity. But through Yahavashai HaMashiach, being that perfect sacrifice in the flesh, he's been given all power by the Heavenly Father and he's able to sit on the right hand side and to be able to open the seal of this book and to be able to give the understanding to the, to the disciples, to the apostles, to the tabernacle of David, to the remnant, to elect before the sad destruction is about to happen, okay? Because it's going to be, what, uh, World War Three, you know, and Esau, Edom also has to, what, come in like a flood, okay? And we're seeing all these things, um, the infrastructures uh, being put in place, okay? As far as, you know, the wars and rumors of wars, the things that Yaharashai um, told to the disciples of what was going to happen in the end times, okay? Earthquakes in diverse places, you know, class wars, civil wars, Okay, and that what the end's not yet, that what Esau Edom has to implement that karagma, which is that mark that uh, they want to put under your skin. Okay, to be able to control your, um, your every movement, you know, through a carbon footprint and you won't be able to buy and sell unless you have it. Okay, but the Lord has set up um, a hedge of protection, you know, for those for those elect, those that believe, those that. Um, are doing the works, those that um, believe in the report, okay? But that all that also comes with what? Suffering, okay? That comes with uh, persecution, and that comes with, you know, not being a part of this world, okay? Being in the world or, you know, not um, not being in the world, but, uh, you know, not abusing the world, but using the world, roughly paraphrasing, okay? Because, again, we still have to, you know, have... Uh, you know, jobs and still have to work, you know, we still have to, you know, take care of, uh, you know, families or whatever the case may be. Okay. But number one is what this truth. Okay. This is our number one profession. This is our business. And we're praying that the Lord is able to, um, you know, keep us in the business. You know, many are called, we've been called, right. But we're praying that we're of that chosen line or that we're of the elect. So this video was inspired um, by a couple different videos that's been going out. Um, you know, one of the videos was, uh, losses are spiritual lessons from the brother, the elder over there. in um, was that Mississippi spirit, like the wind of Judah. Okay. When basically he was, you know, speaking about, you know, you might have to lose certain things, you know, whatever that, you know, is in, in your, you know, in your life that you find it, that you thought was maybe important really wasn't important and the Lord might take it away. Okay. And you're not always going to be, um, you know, at the, at a high, high spirit, you know, the Lord will, will balance you out, you know, far as, um, you know, he will humble you. Okay. When you think that you're at a high peak, <laughs> the Lord will, you know, humble you. Okay. To bring you down, to be able to let you know that how about Shema Shah is in control and we're supposed to trust in him. Okay. And also another video was, um, the brother uh, GMS uh, Benjamin Loyalty and the brother, uh, one of the brothers in my camp uh, shared it. Okay. And basically he was catching hell. Okay. But one thing that he said was, um, you know, though I'm catching hell, you know, I'm rejoicing because I have brothers to be able to give me comfort, to be able to lift him. You know, I think it was um, one of the elders, Elder Kazak, I think it was from the, also from the Mississippi camp. OK, that, um, you know, inspired him, you know, to to keep pushing and, and gave him comfort. And that's what this word is. This word gives you comfort um, when you're at your your lowest peak. OK, and the Lord wants you to what be refined like gold tried in the fire. He's purifying us of those 
infirmities, those those um, you know impurities, and and, and um, you know making us ready for um, you know for the wedding. Okay, with that white garment that we're you know able to what be counted worthy through our persecution and what through our beliefs. Okay, and also there was another video of the Apostle Ramla had did was uh, speaking about you know check your fire. Okay far as uh you know where you're at um you know knowing that that brothers are going to have different lots you know they're um and basically was um you know if you're not catching hell then how do you really know if you're in the truth because again the lord wants you to perform at a high level we should be firing on all, all cylinders so even though you might be catching hell uh in the world which hell is a condition played out on earth you know you're bearing that cross um uh, that you still have to perform you still have to do the work okay and that's how you're able to know you know actually you know what you what you able to push through okay what you're able to push through um you know far as you know you might certain things might, might be with your job you know your car your woman whatever it may be but you're able to still do the work that shows you your faith faith without works is not dead okay and also um you know, whatever that you're going through, you pray to the Lord, you know, not to necessarily take it away, but to be able to have the strength to be able to endure it. Because, again, we were sent here to what bear our indignation. OK, bear the what the righteous anger of the Heavenly Father, because we went off. OK, um, you know, in our past life and then even in this life, because our righteousness is of filthy rags. So we're praying that the Lord is able to um, that we're able to be what purified and, and be ready on that day when the Lord comes back, okay, that we be accounted worthy, right, through through our faith, through our works, and then if we're of the elect, okay, so this lesson is going to be centered around, you know, suffering, and I'm going to go into, Lord willing, um, you know, some of the sufferings of Yaharashai and what he had to go through, okay, and then the, what the servant is not greater than his master, so we're going to have to go through the same things, okay, or we might have to lose certain things, and we have to uh, be humble to be able to to receive the gift, OK, because that's what we're fighting for. The uh, what the, you know, suffering comes with victory. That's why I think I'm going to name the lesson. You know, suffering, suffering comes, you know, through the victory. OK, suffering for the victory or, you know, something like that around the lines, because, again, the only way to get the victory is through suffering. OK, blood, sweat and tears, you know, um, through through what long suffering, you know, patience is a virtue. Patience goes into your long suffering. And your virtue is your moral standard because this world doesn't stand for any morals. It's set at a low place. There's a there's a low moral standard. You can be you can do as thy will spirit. OK, it, but but in this ministry, when the Lord brings you in, he draws you into the ministry. You're supposed to what, um, you know, um, put off those old ways and put on that new man. OK, but again, that old man is always right there. That's why we have to trust in the Lord through whatever adversity we're going through. OK. So this is a definition for what uh, the word suffering. It says a state of undergoing pain, distress, or hardship. Okay. So again, yeah, you go through hardship, you know, mentally, physically, and, uh, you know, spiritually. Okay. That's, that's all about what bearing that cross, bearing what the things that you have to go through. Okay. Just like Yahrashai had to bear his cross and he had to what, endure to the end. Now he's been rewarded to be able to sit on the right hand side and have all power. To be able to ransom his uh, his elect, his brides, right, and that's the same thing that we have to do if we want if we want to um, hold on to that crown, because the Lord has given us understanding, um, you know, given us and that's through mer and that's mercy, what of the scriptures, what we have to what cleave onto this crown, and that goes into what constantly doing the work, okay, so, uh, suffer the next one experience or being subjected to something bad or unpleasant so you know it doesn't feel good <laughs> it doesn't feel good when the whole world is against you okay it doesn't feel good when you when you're catching hell you still got to go to work okay um and then you know a lot of people are what losing their jobs you know women are are are, are, are um you know families are being broken up okay because of all the uh the stress that esau edom is putting on them okay through what these um you know through the what the economy okay and it's going to get worse, but we have to what trust in the Lord. It says be affected or be subject illness or ailment. So some brothers might be going through certain infirmities. Okay. Certain things that are going on, your knee hurts, your back hurts, whatever that it may be. 
Okay. And also you have other brothers that have, you know, um, certain, um, elements that, that, uh, um, that they have to bear, but still do the work. Okay. And we have example examples of that, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth, you know, far as brothers, you know, are, are what still pushing the Lord has given them the spirit, um, not of fear, but of what, um, resilience, right. Become or appear worse in quality. So again, things could be, uh, uh, worse and worse, but again, at, at some point, you know, from my experience that the Lord, he always intervenes when he, when, when need be. Okay. But the thing is, is what learning the lesson, learning what you actually did, you know, through all things you can learn, you know what I mean? And especially when you're at your lowest peak, because again, that shows you who you are. It shows you what will you be able to stand in that day or will you fold like a lamp, like a lawn chair. Okay. Yeah. So this word bear. Carry the weight of support. So carry the weight, just like Yahweh Shai carried the weight of Israel on his back. And we got to carry the weight of our cross, whatever that it may be. Okay. And so this word uh, in the Latin, when you break it down, sub, okay, which means from below. Okay. So you got to dig deep into your soul, <laughs> which is through Yahweh Shai, through your soul of what, um, what you have in there. You know, that grit. That's why it speaks about gird up your loins like a man, because the Lord's what raising up uh, fierce warriors. And right now we're in a spiritual warfare. But again, at, at some points it becomes physical far as, you know, the things that you got to go through, the elements that you got to go through, the infirmities that you got to go through. OK. And what does it say? Fear, which is to bear. OK. So, again, we're supposed to what bear our cross. OK. I want to get another one. This is uh, anthropology. Yeah, this word suffer, allow to occur, continue. Uh, permit, tolerate, fail to prevent. Yeah, because you can't stop this. Okay, you can't stop the train from going. The tra the, the train is going. The, the the story is already set from the beginning. A man's goings are of the Lord. How can he know his ways? Okay, the Lord what directs your steps, directs the things that you have to go through. You just have to trust in Him, that He's got your back. Okay. Yeah, it says to bear, to undergo, to endure. Right, right, and he that endure to the end shall be saved carry out so we got to what carry out our cross we got to carry it out into what the perfection of it till it's complete okay to the end right there's a couple more words this is a uh, submit yeah so we have to submit to the lord because we're undergoing what uh, a basically um a trial of our faith we're undergoing that a trial of our faith this is a test okay this is all a test for for if, if we are of the elect okay because the Lord, ultimately, he could have just snapped his fingers and we'd be all saved. But again, we had to what bear that cross, just like Yahweh Shai did. Okay? So this word sub, right, which goes into the word suffer, right? Or the begin suffer, you know, the, the beginning of it, right? Under, beneath, behind, from under, resulting from further division. Beneath, yeah, beneath foot. So we're, we're under um, these devils' uh, foot. OK, they treat us. We're the lowest of the low, even with this wisdom. Now, the Lord has raised us up over the nations. OK, but far in the society, we're known as nothing. OK, we, we you know, we're unlearned men. We don't know nothing, you know, far as, as far as the people. Now, when they come up, they, they get the understanding that we're that we're um, very, um, very learned far as through the spirit, because the Holy Spirit is the one that what quickens you. Okay, was that John six and uh, sixty three? Okay, the Lord what quickened us what in the, in the the secular history, quickened us what what the things that um you know the, of course in the Bible the things that are going on and also the things that are going on in the world you know a lot of people don't know.
game nine. Or Slaki, um, seven and nine. <clears throat> so this is Micah seven and nine. I will bear that indignation of Yahweh because I have sinned against him. Until he pled my cause, I execute, and he will execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light, okay, this, to the truth, and I shall behold his righteousness, okay? So let's read this in the NLT. I will be patient as Yahabah Shemashai punishes me, for I have sinned against him. But after that, he will take up, take up my case and give me justice for all that I have suffered for my enemies. And the Lord Yahabah Shemashai will bring me into the light, the truth. And I will see his righteousness. So bringing us into the light is the understanding of these scriptures. That's actually mercy because it actually gives you what a chance. Okay, a chance of what redemption, because, again, two thirds of our people, they're not going to have redemption. Okay, they're walking around scoffing. They're in that thug life, diva spirit. They don't know what's about to hit them. Okay. And again, we sinned in our past lives and this life. So we're supposed to, um, you know, when I pray. I, I re, um, pray for repentance for my sins in my past life and in this life. Pray the Lord has mercy on me, um, you know, daily, okay? Because, again, First Thessalonians 5 and 18 says prayer without ceasing, okay, without stopping, you know? You wake up, pray, you know, you, you go somewhere, pray, you know, constantly because the Lord, you want him to know your name. You want, her, you want him to know your voice, better yet. You want them to know your voice and, and what when the time of Jacob's trouble starts to pop off. Okay. Micah 7 and 9. So I want to get this word uh, bear. Because again, we saw it in that word what of uh, of uh suffering. Okay. And the, what to undergo and to bear. Okay, to bear what? Your cross. Strong's H 5375. Nasa. Nasa. Yep, to lift up, to bear, carry, to take. Okay? To take on what the 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 um also, you know, take up the burdens of other brothers, but also take up your burden, you know, holding on to what your responsibility, putting in the whatever work, whatever lot that Yahweh Shemar Shai has set for you. You know, just like Yahweh Shai had to how he put all of Israel on his back. That's how we're able to be redeemed um, you know, through or be, uh, be able to be pardoned of our sins, okay? To be lifted up, to be exalted. The Lord is exalting us up, okay? Through him, we're exalted. We're what? Jeremiah 1 and 10, we're, we're exalted above the nations far as in wisdom, okay? To be taken away, to be carried off, to be swept away, to desire long, to, to bear continuously, to lift one oneself up. The Lord's lifting us up, okay? Because again, we were at a low estate. But now through this wisdom, we're able to have comfort while the rest of the world doesn't have comfort. OK, they're about to get hit in the pate of their head with those hypersonic missiles. OK. Because, again, we're um, I mean, I'm going to think of a couple of scriptures. This is accept advance. So you have to accept your journey. And that goes to what? Girding up your loins like a man. OK, just like your Shai had to do. And the Lord is what stirring up our pure mind. Of, um, you know, the things, first of all, the things that we've done in, in in this life, the things that we can remember. OK. And when you look at those laws, OK, you realize that we need a savior, <laughs> you know, so um, yeah, to lift up, to bear up. OK, that word Nasa, which is in the Hebrew. OK, so it reminds me of a couple of scriptures. Let's get it. This is first Corinthians because we are chasten right now. While the rest of the world is what, you know, they're in a uh, merged spirit. This is 1 Corinthians 11 and 32. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord Yahweh Shai, that we should not be condemned with the world. So again, we're being chastised right now. When we go off, we actually fear the Heavenly Father and what he could do. Okay? Because we know that he is what the El Shadia, a demon-like power. And we know that he has power to kill. That's why you're supposed to not be afraid of what man can do to you. Okay, what Esau Edom can do to you, right? But be afraid of what the Lord can do to your body and spirit because he can be able to kill you, bring you to judgment, then bring you back to hell, which is a condition played out on earth. Okay. So whatever that we have to endure, okay, right here, Job 13 and 15, though he slay me, 
yet I will trust in him, but I will maintain my own ways before him. So again, though he slay me, though he what, he kill me, he might knock me down or, or certain infirmities, you know, have certain people come up against you. Okay, what? You trust in the Lord. Okay. It says um, 15 in the NLT, Yahweh might kill me, but I have no other hope. I'm going to argue my case with him. Okay, so again, going into, um, you know, you know, I was just meditating on this um, when I was thinking about the lesson. It's like there's no other way than this way, because what he is the. <laughs> Let me just get it real quick, John. John fourteen and six. Yahweh said, said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man cometh to the Father but by me. So that's the only way. Down what that that uh, straight path? There's no other way. The understanding of this truth. There's no other way to to you know be a part of this world because this world is is going to be destroyed. Okay, Matthew seven and fourteen. Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth to life, and few there be that find it. So straight goes into position of difficulty. Okay, because again, what the broad way. It's easy to be what um, to be a Christian or it's easy to be a, a Catholic. It's easy to be a thug, a diva. It's easy to be of the world. But it, but it's difficult to what be a, a soldier for your Habashim Shai. OK, because, again, this world, everything's against you. You have your flesh that's against you. You have um, your family that's against you. You have people that are of Israel that are against you. OK, there's a very there's only a very small sanctuary of that remnant of the elect that are going to endure to the end. OK. And the Lord is the one that what quickened you to be able to have the understanding of these uh, these things that are going on. Even even though you might be catching hell, it says 60 John 6 and 63. It is the spirit that quickened the flesh profit nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are the spirit and they are life. So again, going into what the Lord offers you, what the issues of life, okay? He offers you to be able to um, to live a righteous way, okay? And to what be able to what pardon your sins, right? While this world offers you what death, okay? They offer you nothing but uh, destruction, you know, traps and snares, okay? Let me get that. This is Deuteronomy 30 and 19. This is John 30 and 19. I call to heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both thou thy seed may live. It says that thou may, mayest know that Yahweh thy power, thou mayest obey his voice, and thou mayest cleave unto him, for he is thy life and thy length of days, that thou may dwell in the land which Yahweh swear unto the fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give them. Okay, so Jacob had what twelve sons, and his name was changed to Israel. Okay, uh, he is what Prince of Power, Yasha Allah. Okay, and with our true power, we have, we have power. We are somebody. Okay, without him, we are what death. Okay, we don't have they don't have no life in us. Again, we're in the uh, the Lord woke us up, drawed us into this to wake us up out of the congregation of the dead. Okay, and bring us what into this wise council. That's why, but that's all through what the wisdom that the Lord, what quickened us with. This is Sirach 1. This is Sirach 1 and 1. Now it actually starts up here. Um, yeah, it says right here. It's, it's actually 1 right here. It says, all wisdom coming from Yahweh Shai and is with him forever. Who can number the sand of the sea and the drops of the rain and the days of eternity? Who can find out the height in the heaven and the breadth of the earth and the deep wisdom and the wisdom have been created before all things and the understanding of prudence from everlasting. The word of Yahweh, who's the word? That's Yahweh Shai of Yahweh, which which uh, Yahweh sent the decree, which is the word, which is Yahweh Shai, his son to what have all power, have all dominion. OK, to be able to um, and they're on one accord. They're different entities, but they're on one accord. The word of Yahweh must most high is the fountain of wisdom and her ways are everlasting commandments. Okay. So if you love me, what feed my sheep, if you love me, what follow my, my law, set your commandments. Okay. And they, what bring forth life when we don't follow the law, set your commandments, Deuteronomy 28 and 15 through 68 speaks about all the curses that will fall upon us. Skipping down. 
Sirach 1 and 18. This is an apographer. The fear of Yaharashai is a crown of wisdom, making peace and perfect health to flourish, both which are gifts of Yahweh and enlarge the rejoicing that love him. Okay, so again, going into when you try to fight against the, the Heavenly Father, guess what happens? You get death. Okay, you get you get uh, uh, worse or suffering than you, than you were going through. But if you uh, engage in it, far as you know, you, you take on that cross. And, and Apostle Gabar always says this: you know, you take up that cross, you bear that indignation, know that you went off in some sort of way. Okay, and you're just praying that the Lord is 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 um, that your that your sacrifice is what pleasing to Him. Far as the things that you got to endure. Okay, it says. Sirach, let me read this again. Sirach 1 and 18. The fear of Yahabah Shemashai is a crown of wisdom, making peace and perfect health to flourish, both which are gifts of Yahweh and enlarge the rejoicing that love him. Wisdom reigned down, skill and knowledge, and, and wisdom is what reigning down, far as what the, the nourishment of this word. Okay, it's able to what give you life. Let's get that wisdom of Solomon. 16 and I think it's like 26 wisdom of Solomon 16 and 26 it says that the children of Yahabah Shemashai who thou lovest may know that it is not growing of fruits that nourish man but it is the word which preserveth them that put their trust in thee okay and with this word comes what rivers of living water he that believeth in me as the scripture has said out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water let's get it John 7 and 38, 38, he that believeth in me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Okay, and that's what's going on. This, 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 this uh, living waters are what gushing out all over, all over uh, the Internet. Okay, all over in the highways and the byways, you know, brothers are crying out with tears, comforting one another. Okay, what these what scriptures? Let me read this again. He that believeth in me, believe in who? Yahweh Shai. This is in red letter, right? As the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Okay, and that's able to what give you nourishment, and that's all through what the the wisdom that Yahweh Shai has given his, um, you know, given the hopeful elect. Okay. Sirach one and nineteen. Wisdom ran it down to skill and knowledge and understanding. And exalt them to honor that hold her fast. Yeah, hold fast to what? To cleave unto this word. Because it speaks about that right here. Sirach 2 and 1. My son, if thou come to serve Yahweh Shai, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set not thy heart and constantly endure. And make not haste in the time of trouble. Cleave unto him and depart not away. Thou mayest be increased at the last end. Okay? It says, whatever is brought upon thee, take carefully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. For gold is tried in a fire and acceptable men in a furnace of adversity. Believe in him and he will help thee. Order thy way all right and trust in him. So we're supposed to trust in Yahweh Shema Okay? Because he, he has been given all wisdom. He has the understanding. And if he's given you that breath, okay, then you're able to what? You're able to, 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 to you know, have a chance just go to that you have a chance to what to, to to fight okay uh there was a scripture that came to mind that was um yeah first peter because again this is a trial this is a test of our faith and our belief this is first peter one and seven. First peter i'll start from six it says it says, wherein you are greatly rejoiced that now for a season, if need be, you are in heaviness through manifold temptations. So, again, we're in constant temptation. OK, because, again, that old man is always right there. OK, but the Lord is hold, holding back those demons uh, uh, from us. Now, every once in a while, they'll come back into your life to what test you to see um, if, if who you stand for. OK, it says um, let's get this word manifold real quick. Okay, manifold. Manifold. Okay, many and various. Okay, numerous, multiple. Okay, so again, manifold. So many different, various ways you can be tested. You can be tested at your job. You can be tested with, um, you know, different infirmities. You can be tested by your by your woman, by your family. 
Okay, you could be tested in the flesh, going into bearing that cross. Okay, um, you could be tested far as um, you know with with certain brothers. You know, for um, you know that was another thing Apostle Ramla was speaking about. You know, one brother might like one thing, another brother might like another. Or you know, far as far as a, a certain thing that you like, you one like might like sports, one might not like sports. Okay, but again. It's, it's bearing that what another one's burdens, okay, to be able to what have a respect for each other because you're both uh, suffering um, through Yahweh Hashem Shai, okay, and and, and to what to 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 make those atonements with brothers, you know, to make things right if you have a, a issue with a brother, okay, okay, many, yeah, so many, numerous, so there's men, there's numerous things that could test you in the world that manifold temptations, okay, it's, it speaks about that through much trip. Through much temptation, we shall enter into the kingdom. Acts 14 and 22. It says, First Peter 1 and 7, that the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perish, though it be tried with fire, might be found into praise and honor and glory and appearing in Yahavashai Hamashiach. So again, we're being tried. That genuine test from Yahavashim Hamashai to what? Be able to receive that victory, to be accounted worthy in the day of judgment. Okay? And there's victory through through sufferings, okay? Through suffering, just like our Lord Yahweh Shai had to suffer for what uh, his cross. Let me get a couple. Let me get that account because again, Apostle Gabor always says this too. You know, we always gotta we gotta think about Yahweh Shai and what he actually went through, his sufferings that he had to go through, okay? Oh wait, uh, I think wait, Salakia. I had a little bit more. We'll go into that. I had a little bit more on this. This is Iraq. Uh, one, and I think it was like about 22. Sirach 1 in 26. It says, if thou desire wisdom, keep thy commandments. So we're supposed to keep thy commandments. Okay. And one of them is what? Trusting in the Lord. Okay. Another one is bearing that cross. Another one is what? Doing the work. Okay. It says, and Yaharashai, give her unto thee. Okay. I give you what? Wisdom. For the fear of Yahabah Shemashai is wisdom and instruction and faith and meekness are his delight. Distrust not the fear of Yahweh Shai without our poor. Come not unto him with a double heart. So again, don't come with, you know, I'm just going to, I got to do this. This sucks. Nah, you just have to go through it. Okay. It speaks about that. What, um, second Ezra a couple of different scriptures come to mind. Second Ezra 10 and 31, second Ezra 10 and 33. And they said unto me, stand up manfully and I will advise thee. Okay. Stand up, you know, cause again, when you're a child, OK, you don't you don't have certain responsibilities. OK, but when you become a man, you have responsibilities. And when you when the Lord brought you into this ministry, OK, you, he's given you a responsibility. OK, you can't just, you know, uh, basically, um, you know, you can't sell wolf tickets in this thing. You can't uh, um, basically, you know, uh, bitch up. OK, you got to put on as the elect. OK, and this goes through what? Putting your house in order. Second Ezra 14 and 13. Now, therefore, set thy house in order and reprove thy people. Comfort such of them as be in trouble and now renounce corruption. Going into this is, you know, how the lesson was divinely inspired by the Rokha Kadash, the Holy Spirit, through the brothers. OK, um, by what? Um, brothers, what set in their house in order, you know, crying and sighing. And, and through those uh, cries and sighs, those tears, the Lord gave comfort to uh, other brothers to be able to, to keep pushing in this fight, to know that they're not alone. 14, let go from mortal thoughts, cast away thy burdens of man, put not off that weak nature. So again, it's, a, um, you know, put off that weak nature. So put off what that, that feminine nature that, that uh, Esau has put on us, you know, as far as in this nature. A lot of us, you know, were, were um, you know, you didn't have your father or, or certain things like that. OK, the house, the household wasn't in order. OK, that goes back to um, those curses. OK, but the Lord is what bringing back. He's bringing back what great men, OK, renowned men and, and leaders and, and, and um, rulers and judges. OK, what royal priesthood. It says 15 and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy upon thee and hast thee flee from these times. So, again, going into, you know, put off what that weak nature. OK, put a, put aside. You know, um, I want to go to college, you know, uh, I'm going to uh, buy this house, you know, these things when when this place is going to get destroyed, stack your treasures up in heaven. OK, where moth or dust can't can um, can't can get it, roughly paraphrasing. And where you put your heart is where your treasure is. So going into um, being uh, being keeping your eyes singular, 
okay, on your Haba Shema Shai. Because again, when you start to be uh, double minded, okay, you what? You start to have darkness come in there, which is confusion, okay, which is obscurity that you don't want because you can't love. It speaks about that in Matthew 6. Um, you can't love what uh, two things, okay? You have to what keep the eye singular, which is your mind, on on the prize, okay? On that crown, which is what Yahweh Shai, because Yahweh Shai is what the victory, and Yahweh Shai suffered, so why wouldn't you have to suffer? You're not no better than you're not no better than Yahweh Shai, right? So if we have that understanding, because the Lord quickened our spirit, and and we're putting off this these selfish natures, because this world teaches you to be selfish. Okay, you have these birthdays, you know, everything is what idol worship, you know, look at me, you know, as far as like uh, TikTok and, and, and Instagram, all these things are just what idol worship, basically, look at me, you know, that's why you have these women out here that are basically butt naked walking around. Okay, because they're out of order, right? They didn't have, they didn't have, uh, uh, you know, a man of the Lord telling them not to do that. And if they did, what they don't want to listen going into there's no order that's why the lord is coming back to restore order through his men 16 for yet greater evils than those that which had seen happen shall be done hereafter for look how much the world shall be weaker through age so much the more shall evils increase upon that dwell therein for the time is fled away and leasing hard at hand for now haste and the vision is to come which thou hast seen so again the vision goes into the judgments that are going to be placed upon those that don't fear you how about shema shai because the Lord's coming to visit Exodus 20 and the third, fourth generation of those that hate him. Okay. And those that hate him are going to what be destroyed. But those that, let me get it real quick. Because the Lord also said, what bear thy cross. This is uh, what is that? Job. It's lucky. I think it's Proverbs actually Proverbs 13 and 13. Yep, Proverbs 13 and 13. Who despiseth the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. The law of the wise is the fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. And that's what we're praying, that we're able to depart from these uh, snares of death. Waiting on what, that perfect day? Okay, this is Proverbs 4 and 18. It reads, it says, But the path of the just is as a shining light, that just is the elect, that shineth more and more to that perfect day. The way of the wicked is as darkness, they know not what they stumble. So the... A lot of our people don't know why they're stumbling because, again, they don't know the Lord. OK, but we know why we're stumbling. We know why certain things are happening because we have to bear that cross. My son, attend to my words and incline thy ear unto my sayings. Let not them depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thy heart. OK, going into the, the Hebrew word lahab, heart, or the, sorry, the, the word heart is in the Hebrew is lahab. OK, well, again, going into keeping your mind singular. OK. For they that are life unto those that find them and health to all the flesh, keep thy heart with all thy diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. So through Yahweh Shai, you have life, you have uh, uh, immortality, you have salvation, okay? Through Esau, through this world, you have what? Death. That's why I brought out in Deuteronomy 30 and 19, okay? It's another one. This is uh, Psalms. And how do we know that? Through what thy precepts we get understanding, right? This is 119 and what was that about 105? Psalms 119 and 105. None. The word is the word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I have sworn and I perform it that I will keep thy righteous judgments. Okay? So we're supposed to what follow the law such commandments to the best of our ability. Because he's brought us into a wise council. This is uh, Isaiah, uh, I think it's 9 and 2. Isaiah 9 and 2. The people that walked in darkness, so we were walking in confusion. We were walking in a thug life, a diva spirit, you know, being part of the world. We weren't looking at the things that were happening in the world the way that Yahweh Shema is 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 as quick in our spirit to be able to have the understanding, that seventh operational skill where you're able to um, see what's going on, filter through the scriptures and be able to edify it to the flock. OK, Isaiah 9 and 2, the people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. That's that truth, that lamp upon our feet. OK, that what shines in a dark place. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death upon them hath light shine. So that light has shined upon what um, the, the hopeful elect. OK. But again, when that light shines, the truth shines, you also have to be exposed. OK, but the Lord is, is putting that hedge around you. But we have to have that understanding through what persecution. 
Isaiah 60 and 1, Arise and shine, for the light is come, and the glory of Yahweh is risen upon thee. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But Yahweh shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles and the Gentile shall come to the light, and the kings to the brightness of the rising. So again, all the Israelite foreigners are coming back to what the, this wise council. That's why we always speak about you know the um, the speckled bird, which is these the Israelite foreigner, okay? Because this is a spiritual thing, while the the rest of the world um, is what in carnality. You know, they just judge. Uh, basically on your skin tone but the lord is judging what the inner man okay and and through that inner man the lord is what that gives us comfort of knowing who we truly are no matter how we actually look okay and so i want to get into um you know bearing that cross let's get that first then we'll go into the account of yaharashai you know, in his, his sufferings, okay? This is Matthew 10 and 38. It says, let me start from 34. Think not, it says, think not that I come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. So the sword goes into the destruction that's going to be happening to this place. The famine, the scourge, the calamities, okay? And these things are all created for what the wicked, okay? And what the elect's going to be able to be saved. Now, some of us have to be beheaded for the truth, have to be mortars. But again, he that endured to the end shall be saved. You, you, as long as you um, held your course, okay, you bared whatever cross. But you got to hold on to it, okay? It's a fight. It's not something that's easy. You got to strive for the masteries. Was that First Corinthians nine and twenty four? Okay. As I'm going to get into, I have a I have some scriptures written down. I was just going in the spirit. Matthew 10 and 35, for I have come to set a man of variance against his father and daughter against his mother and a daughter-in-law against his mother-in-law. A variance goes into a difference. So you might have a difference in beliefs. You know, you might have someone in your family that that, that believes in uh, Jesus Christ, that believes he's a white man. OK, and that's going to be a difference. Now, you have to uh, politely disagree. You know, um, you don't go in and try to argue with your mother, your father or nothing like that. You just politely disagree. Now, if the Lord has you where you can be able to be in your own place or whatever the case is, be away from those people. That's that's probably going to be the best thing if it's only if it's interfering with with you doing the work. OK, because the Lord is what a jealous power. He doesn't want anyone above him. That's why we were sent in this sent in the captivity. That was the number one reason, because we move Yahabashim Hashai to anger because we were fall we were worshiping devils. OK, falling after these idols, you know, falling after a woman, falling after money, you know, lusting again of the flesh. Okay, not not being spiritual, being cardinal. Okay, it says 36, a man's foe shall be of his own household. So you're going to have uh, your own household what come against you as far as in this truth, because, again, they're going to start, uh, you know, um, slandering that brother. They're going to start framing mischief. They're already doing it. They just haven't put it out there. They have the DHS uh, bulletin. Okay, where it says they're coming after faith based groups, which that's all we have is faith. Okay, faith and belief that, that we are the elect, that Yahweh Shema Shai, that we're of the elect, okay? Putting on as the elect, that, that, because we know he's going to save the elect, but we're praying we're of that number, okay? 37, he that loveth father and mother more than me is not worthy of me. He that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. He that taketh not his cross and follow after me, he is not worthy of me. So that cross goes into your flesh, you know, the burdens that you have to go through. Okay, the persecution that you have to go through, the things that uh, maybe a lot of people don't see, you know, you're out, you're outside. It looks like everything's OK. But again, you, you're suffering because, again, the curses are upon you. Right. And that's all about. Up. 
That's sake shall find it. So again, you might lose everything that's vanity in this world, but you gain everything through Yahweh Shai. Okay. It says, he that receiveth, receiveth me. And he that receiveth, receiveth him that sent me. Okay. So again, if you, if you accept Yahweh Shai, then you accept Yahweh. You have to accept both. Okay. That's how it goes. It's not, oh, I just go straight to the father. No, the Lord sent Yahweh Shai um, to be able to be that intercessor. Okay. And that's how our, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh looks at us is through Yahweh Shai, okay? Through his perfect sacrifice, him being that sacrifice in the flesh, as I'm going to get into. 41, he that receiveth a prophet in the name of the prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. And he that receiveth the righteous man in his name of righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward, okay? So again, going into who's that prophet that received a, a great reward? Yahweh Shai, okay? What, to sit on the right hand? Okay, to be able to redeem his people. And if we're prototypes of Yahweh Shai, then we're going to receive what? That, that, um, we're going to be joint heirs. Okay, Romans 8. And our heirs and heirs of Yahweh and joint heirs of Hamashiach. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may also glorify together. For I reckon that the sufferings of the present thing are not worthy to compare with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Okay. So again, the sufferings that we go through right now is nothing compared to what, what's going to actually, what, what's going to, the Lord's going to reveal to us. Cause he said he's preparing many mansions. Okay. I think that's in John. Cause he's given us what a blessing. This is a uh, real quick four and seven, but we have a treasure in earthly vessels that excellency of power may be of Yahweh and not of us. Yeah. So again, going into Ephesians two and eight, we're not supposed to boast about our works because the lord is the one that's given us the work to be able to do to be able to have redemption okay that's mercy through what this word through the works second corinthians 4 and 8 we are troubled on every side yet not distressed we are perplexed but not in despair so again we might be like the brother said <laughs> the gms uh benjamin loyalty uh he said um you know he said he's like though i'm catching hell and hell or order 14067 okay which is them knocking down the paper dollar bringing in the internet of bodies which is ultimately going to be what that karagma that graven image in your forehead and in your hand that they want to put out the end is almost here our redemption is nigher than we believed almost 13 11 roughly paraphrasing that okay and we're distressed on what every side we're because everyone's against us okay you know those those shirts it will say like new york versus versus everybody it's yahaba shema shai the elect, the hopeful elect against everybody. Okay. And guess what? How about Shimon Shai wins and the elect win? Okay. We're just praying we're of that number, but we got to endure. Nine, persecuted, but not forsaken, cast down, but not destroyed. So again, let me read this in NLT. We are hunted down, but never abandoned. But Yahweh, we get knocked down, but we are not destroyed. Yeah. So we're constantly hunted down. You know, they're watching our videos right now, knocking, knocking brothers' pages down for, for speaking about the truth. OK, we're hunting down. We're already on the um, the red list that they have set up for these uh, FEMA camps. OK, and those and the believers out there, you're on the blue list. OK, and also you mockers and scoffers, you're on the list, too. OK, but the thing is, is that you don't have the hedge of protection because you mocked and you scoff. You misused the prophets. So there was what? No remedy. Second Corinthians uh, four and 14, knowing that he which raised up Yahweh Shai. Yahweh shall raise up also by Yahweh and shall present us with you. 
For all things for our sakes, our abundant grace might through thanksgiving of many rebound to the glory of Yahweh. For which cause we faint not, but through our outward man perish, yet our inward man is renewed day by day. So the inner man is renewed. That's the important. Okay, that you're what? Uh, putting off those mortal thoughts. Again, renewed in your mind. It's not how you look on the outside. It's how you look on the inside. The Lord is going to weigh you through what you're, you're, you're in, the inner man. Okay, it says uh, 17, for our light affliction is but for a moment. Worketh for us far more exceeding an external weight of glory. So again, this is but for a moment. Okay. Our light affliction. Let me read this NLT. It says, it says, for I present your troubles are small and won't last very long. So this thing won't last very long. Okay. The Lord is doing a, what, a great wonder. He's going doing a great work. Let me get that real quick. This is uh, Psalms 98, I think. Psalms 98 and 1. It says, Oh, sing unto you how a new song, for he had done marvelous things. His right hand, his holy arm had gotten him the victory. Okay? He has gotten the victory. Marvelous works by what? Waking up the elect. Waking up the hopeful elect. Waking us up to be able to have this uh, grace period. Okay? It says, um, yep, so I'm reading this in the NLT. It says, For our, our present troubles are small, won't last very long, yet they produce for us glory that vastly outweighs them and will last forever. Okay? It says, while we look not at the things which are seen, but the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Going into our faith. Going into Yaharashai. Okay, Hebrews 11 and 1. Okay. Reminds me of a scripture. This is Isaiah 43 and we'll start from 1, I think. Isaiah 43 and 1. The Savior of Israel. Who's that? That's Yaharashai. Who's he coming to save? His elect. Okay, the remnant. Right. It says, but now thus said Yahweh. That created thee, O Jacob, he formed thee, O Israel. Fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name, and thou art mine. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee, and through the rivers, thou shalt not overflow thee. When thou walkest through thy fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall they flame kindled upon thee. So again, going into when we were in Egypt, what those waters, the Lord was uh, created, did a marvelous work. And what John 12 and 28 speaks about, he's going to do it again. He's, and Yahweh asked uh, Yahweh, are you going to glorify my name again? And he said, yeah, I'm going to glorify it again. He's not a man that would change. And also what numbers 23 and what is that? Uh, I know it's in numbers 23. Um, that, that what the Lord, um, he changes not. Okay. Or it's like he's not a man that would lie. And also what in Isaiah 55, that his word doesn't go out void. Okay, so if he gave you the word, what he gave you the creed, he gave you the breath, that means he's going to do it. But you have to endure, what, the persecution. Okay, and what, this time it's going to be what fire, those intercontinental bliss of missiles, and the Lord's going to uh, raise up uh, that standard for his elect. Okay, we're praying we're of that number. Isaiah 43 and 3, for I am Yahweh, thy power, thy holy one of Israel, thy savior, I gave Egypt for the ransom, Ethiopia and Sibia for thee. It says, since thou was precious in my sight, that have been honorable, and I have loved thee. Therefore, I will give men for thee and people for thy life. Fear not, for I am with thee, and I will bring thy seed from the east and gather them from the west. Okay? That's what's going on. You know, because, uh, again, we were spread. We were spread in what um, we were scattered. But you go into the word scattered, it goes into the diaspora, all around the four corners of the earth. Okay? That's why you have brothers all over the world that are what coming in the same name first corinthians 1 and 10 speaking being like-minded speak back bring my sons from far and my daughters from the ends of the earth Every one that is called by the name, for I have created him from my glory. I have formed, formed him. Yeah, I have made him. Okay, so for his glory, he's what created created the uh, the elect. Okay, because again, real quick, all the first fruits, if we're of that first church, are what Yahweh Shem Exodus thirteen and two, sanctify unto me all the firstborn whatsoever open thy womb among the children of Israel, both of man and of beast, it is mine. Okay. So again, he wants his what his first fruits. All the first fruits go back to Yahweh Shem Okay. And right now, the men of the Lord are what being put in order. 
15 and 23, but every man in his own order, Hamashiach, the first fruits, after, afterward they are Hamashiachs at his coming. And then come at the end, when thou shalt have delivered up the kingdom to Yahweh, even thy father, when he shall have put down all rule and authority and power, for he must reign till he have put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. Okay? And that's what you're seeing. You're seeing death destroyed, which is what Esau Edom. Okay? He's being destroyed because he's being exposed. This is Romans 8 and 33. Yeah, so what does it say? Nothing can separate us from Yahweh's love. Okay, and what is his love? The law of such a commitment his mercy through his son, Yahweh Shai. It says, what shall we then say to these things? If Yahweh be for us, who can be against us? The same things reiterated in Psalms 124. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, he shall be not with him, also freely give to all things. So again, that's a, that account going into what Yahweh Shai. This is Acts 5 and uh, I think about 32. It's around there. Acts 5 and 32. Um, yep. This is 29. And then Peter, right, the head of the church, right, which is David, uh, the Peter and the other apostles, and what is being raised up? The tabernacle of David, okay, under your, what? Yahweh Shach. This is the Peter and other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey Yahweh rather than men. Okay, going into, don't be afraid what man can do to you. Okay, be afraid what Yahweh Shema Shai can do to your body and spirit. Again, he could kill you, uh, bring you to the spirit world, and what bring you back. Okay, and again, the Lord, the Lord is the one that kills. Okay, he's the number one hitman. He can kill, he can heal, he can wound. Right, Deuteronomy uh, thirty-two and thirty-nine, Isaiah forty-five and seven. It says thirty. It says, "Thy power, Yahweh of thy fathers, raised up Yahweh Shai, whom they slew and hanged on a tree." Didn't that happen? Okay. Right, those Roman satyrians and the Lord's coming back for those men. Okay, let's get that. One and what is that? Seven. Romans one and seven. Behold, he cometh with clouds that going into those chariots of the world and he calls UFOs, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierce him, and all kindreds of earth shall wail, and because of him, even so a month. So again, they're all gonna wail because again he's coming back for those those people that pierced him. Okay, as Lord willing, I get into that account. Acts five and thirty one. It says, yep, 31, him hath Yahweh exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for he, for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins, showing you that this is not for everyone, not for everybody. Okay. It's only for what Israel and of Israel, it's only for the elect. Those are the only ones that are crying and signing for all the abominations. Okay. Those, those, those are the only ones that are going to have that the wall, which is that mark of exemption. 32, and we are a witness of these things. So also the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKadosh, whom Yahweh had given them to obey him. It says, when they heard that, they were cut to the heart and took counsel to slay him. So again, to what slay him on what that cross. Okay. Going into this account, and I'll go back to Romans, but I want to go into the account because that's why they seek to slay him. Because they saw that what? The, the, the wicked Pharisees and all the different people, they weren't going to be able to have any power anymore. All power was given to Yahweh Shai. And to what his um his elect to be what joint heirs with them. This is a uh, Matthew's um what is that? Oh yeah, cunts. Matthew's twenty seven and about twenty eight, I think it is. And this goes into the suffering that Yahweh Shai had to go through. And this is what um you know Apostle Gabar always says we should think about when we're when we're uh you know catching hell. Okay, we should think about Yahweh Shai and the, the suffering that he had to endure. It says the soldiers, yeah, so the soldiers going into Revelation 1 and 7 that Yahweh Shai is coming back for, the soldiers mock Yahweh Shai. It says, then the soldiers of the governor took Yahweh Shai into the common hall and gathered unto him a whole band of soldiers. And they stripped him and put him on a scarlet robe. And when they had plaited a crown of thorns, they put it upon his head and his reed in his right hand. And they bowed the knee before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. And they, it says, and they spit upon him and he took the reed and smote him on his head. Okay. So again, uh, before, um, you know, when the, when the, when the elect is beamed up, the Lord is going to, we're going to be, uh, see what the Lord actually went through, you know, which is going to be worse than how Emmett Till looked. Okay. Cause again, these, these soldiers, there weren't, uh, they were whooped, you know, beaten up on your Harishai. Okay. That's why the Lord's coming back with fierce anger. 
and that, that fierce anger he's going to put on on his men to be able to what you know bring forth that that justice we're going to meditate terrors okay matthew 27 and 31 and after that they had mocked him they took the robe off him and put on his remnant and him and led him away to crucify him as and as they came out they found a man siren and simon by the name and they compelled to bear his cross okay because even yahavishai had help okay showing you the brotherhood okay because again uh to bear that cross alone is 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 heavy okay it's heavy so that's why the lord brings forth the brethren to be able to comfort one another comfort one another through these scriptures G eleven fifteen, Golgotha, Golgotha. Yep, and so it means skull. The name of a place outside Jerusalem where Yahushai was crucified, so called apparently because it was formed and resembled the skull. Okay. It says Matthew twenty seven and thirty four. They gave him vinegar to drink mingled with gall, and when he had tasted thereof, he would not drink. So again, some, uh, you know, Apostle Gabar, when he broke it down, he said, some say that it, it could have been a uh, piss. Okay. And the thing is, is imagine what they actually put in it, you know? And so that's the whole point is, again, this is what our Lord had to go through. Okay. It says 35, and they crucified him and parted his garments, casting lots that he may be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet. They parted my garments among them and upon my vesture did they cast lots. Yep, it says, let me read this NLT. After they had nailed him to the cross, the soldiers gambled for his clothes by throwing dice. Okay? So, going, <laughs> you know, see, this shit right here, you know, will vet, you know, should get you vexed. Okay, it says, after they have nailed him to the cross, so they put him to the cross, he's beaten, bleeding out, everything like that. Gambled for. Okay, work on their mind. He could have did all those things, but he had to bear that cross for what? Israel, to be able to forgive sins. That's why when people try to cross out the Lord or come up with their own doctrine, that's why the Lord's going to kill them. Okay, unless they repent, because that, that doesn't, Yahweh Shai died for our sins. Okay, he's the only way that we have redemption. Okay, it's very important to understand. He is the Savior, he is the Deliverer. Okay, Yah, he which means what? Havashai, uh, which means savior. Okay, he's the savior for what the Hebrew Israelites. This is not for anybody else. Okay. It says, um, 36, and sitting down, they watched him there and set up over his head an accusation written, this is Yahavashai, the king of the Jews. Okay. One on the right hand and another on the left. So again, persecuted what? Right with the sinners. Okay, right with the sinners. And the Lord said that he came back for the sinners, the ones that were called to repentance. Okay, he didn't come back for the ones that are, are perfect. They they know they're, you know, they don't they don't sin. Okay, because you have groups out there that are saying they don't sin. Okay, which is impossible. Okay, because every every man has sins. That's why Yahushua came back to re redeem us for our sins to cover us. Says um. I want to read this in the NLT. Two revolutionaries were crucified with him, one on the right hand and one on the left. The people passing by shouted abuse, shaking their heads in mockery. Okay, and that's our people. Our people, they do that same thing now. They 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 mock and they scoff when they walk by the camp. Okay, and, and these women are just out of order. They want to come up. You know, they think everything's about them when they ain't shit. Okay, unless they have a men of the Lord, you know. And now you have women that, that are, you know, followers, <laughs> you know, slacky.
good. Rado. Sorry, that. going into the same thing that we have to do right whatever that whatever that the lord uh, put on our plate we have to bear that that's suffering right suffering uh through suffering comes with the victory okay If I am the son of our power, Yahweh, it says that these also which were crucified with him cast the same in his teeth. So even the revolutionaries who were crucified with him ridiculed him in the same way. So, again, wicked as Jake's wicked as niggas, man. And that was that that's the same thing that goes on today. So, again, like I was saying earlier, you know, a uh, man's foes of his own household. But again, we're fighting the whole world. OK, it's, it's how about Shemir and Shai? Against the world, and guess what? Yahabba Shema story has already been written. The yeah, right. It is a Mashiach that died, yeah, rather that is risen again. Who is even the right hand of Yahweh, who is also maketh intercession for us. So again, the, the Harishai is the intercessor for us. Okay. Who shall separate us from the love of Hamashiach? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? So again, we've gone through a lot of these things as far as, you know, slavery. Okay. But the Lord was always with us. Okay. He was in Matthew 28 and 20. Speaks about the Lord is always with us, especially if, if, we're, if we're of that number, if we're of those at first church. Okay, as it is written, for their sake, we are killed all day long. We are counted as sleep for the slaughter. Yeah, so we're killed all day long, starting with the food. You know, the food that you eat has what? Uh, fluoride in it. Okay, or yeah, well, that too. But the, but the water has fluoride in it. Mercury. Okay, uh, barium, aluminum in the air. Uh, ridiculed by, by, by um, you know, your own family members. Okay, um, you know, you, you think that you're eating something good, but it's genetically modified organisms. Okay, which has no nutrients in it. Okay, your your um, you know, you might be your work might be beating beating the you know beating you down. You're not able to get no sleep. Okay, so a lot of these things happen. Essentially, they shall uh, wear out the saints. Okay, and then also what just killing us in the streets. You know, you have the modern day taskmasters. Okay, that's why it speaks about greed with that adversary quickly, because again, you're about to see a lot of death uh, through these uh, these uh, police. They're gonna start just being on a rampage. Spirits created for vengeance. No. What does conquering do? Or what do conquerors do? They conquer whatever their burden may be. And Judah was speaking about we are conquerors. Okay. David David was he was he was saying, you know, David. Uh, was was basically Habashim Rashai's, you know, lion that was conquering these different lands, okay? And that's the same thing. The 5245. Yep, that's right. And so what does it say? To be more than a conqueror, to gain... A surpassing victory, okay? A surpassing victory. And that's what we're praying, that the Lord is able to, um, well, we know he's going to do it for the elect, but we're praying that we're of that number, okay? Through what? Our sufferings, through, through our tears, through our crying out, okay? Remind me of a scripture. Yeah, to vanquish beyond, to gain decisive victory yeah so it's it's gonna be a decisive victory okay it's not gonna be well you know we just you know and now it says that that the righteous shall scarcely be saved but if we trust in the lord then we know we got the victory because it says put on as the elect that goes into your mindset that goes into the um you know your understanding of what's going on that reminds me of a scripture this is uh 
those that are what uh Hosea 14 and I think 13 something like that this is Hosea 14 and 9 who is wise and shall understand these things prudent and he shall know them for the ways of Yahweh are right and as just shall walk in them but the transgressors shall fall therein so the transgressors are going to fall therein because they don't actually believe okay they don't have they're not coming they're coming with boldness but their boldness is 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 pride Okay, it's not of Yahweh Shai. It's not glorying of Yahweh Shai because the elect is going to glorify Yahweh Shai. Okay, because that's how you got the victory. It says, uh, Sirach, Slakia, Slakia, Ecclesiastes 8 and 1. Who is it is wise man and who knoweth the interpretation of the thing? A man's wisdom maketh his face to shine and the boldness of the face shall be changed. Going into the Lord's going to give us those spiritual powers. The Lord's going to what change us in a twinkling of an eye. But again, only a wise man has that interpretation, okay? Because right here, this is uh, Ecclesiastes 8 and 4. Where the word of a king is, there is power. And who may say unto him, while well, doest thou? Who is keepest thy commandment shall feel no evil thing. And a wise man's heart discerned both time and judgment. Because to every purpose there is a time and judgment. Therefore, the misery of man is great upon them, Okay. So every so the men of the Lord what understand time and judgment is time to repent, put off those mortal thoughts. Okay, time to what bear up that cross, what um, gird up your loins like a man. Okay, and anything that you do, what you're supposed to put your all in it. What through what the uh, the might of Yahweh al Shai. This is uh, Ecclesiastes nine and ten. Whatsoever that hand findeth to do, do it with all thy might. So again, all cylinders pushing. Pushing through the what the infirmities, pushing through the, the the impurities, okay? Pushing for what that victory. It says, whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave where thou goest. Uh, you know, that's why it speaks about make no tearing to the Lord. Sirach 5 and 7, Okay. Because it make no tearing to the Lord because you don't know when, when their time and judgment are going to be coming at hand. It says 12, for man also know not his time and the fishers that are taken in the evil net. And as the birds that are caught in the snare, so are the sons of man snared in the evil time when it falleth suddenly upon them. So again, going into what making no tearing to the Lord, pushing forward, pushing forth to what? Towards that victory. Okay. Seeking him while he may be found. Sirach. Five and seven, Sirach five and seven. Make no tearing to turn to Yahabashemah and put not off day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of Yahabashemah come forth, and the security that shall be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Set not thy heart upon goods unjustly gotten, for they shall not profit thee in the day of calamity. So again, you're putting off the work. You know you don't want to bear that actual cross. You know you might have again, you know going into certain things. You know um, that you might have been. Uh, re uh, slack you. you might have been um, rebuked, but you don't want to deal with it. You know what I mean? And that goes into what? Bearing that cross. That goes into suffering. That goes into the Lord what cha changing us. Because right now, we're in a time of what, um, where, where the Lord is, is uh, there's a grace period. Okay? Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye Yahweh while he may be found. Call upon him while he's near. So how do we know Yahweh Shema Shai is near? Because his prophets are still on the highways and the byways. Because there's going to be a time when that famine of the word is going to stop. When the, when the Lord's going to put the prophet's mouth, their tongue is going to what, cleave to the roof of their mouth. Okay? And they're not going to be a reprover anymore. Okay? Seven, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return to Yahweh while he may have mercy upon him. And to that power of for he will abundantly pardon. So the Lord Yahweh Shai has power to what pardon sins. Okay? That's why it speaks about in Exodus, uh, I think it's 20, yeah, 23, where it speaks about, um, you know, um, don't provoke that angel, which is your heart shy. Also speaks about in Psalms 2 and 12, you know, kiss thy raw son unless he be mad and what catch you in your activities, catch you in what you're doing. You're trying to do something else in the world instead of what doing the business of your Shai. Okay. Verse 12. And again, that goes into what the long suffering, suffering to what get that victory. Um. So going back to Roman 8, and then we go about 37. Romans 8 and 37.
<laughs> Satan always does. Let me see something real quick. Slock you. Yeah, Satan, he tried to cut off the internet. Okay, so we'll just go off the side. It says uh, Romans 8 and 37. It says, Know all these things. We are no more than conquerors, though him that loved us. For I am persuaded. Let me get something slacky about that. Romans 8 and 38. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities. So principalities are what? Uh, demons in, in high places, enchantments, you know, because again, there's no enchantment on Jake. It says, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any creature that shall be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh, which is Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, our Lord Adawan. Okay? So again, nothing can be able to separate us if we're of that first church. Okay? And that goes into belief, that goes into the breath, that goes into the long sufferings. Through the sufferings, what you're able to get the what the victory. This is Philippians 3 and 14. Because we're reaching, we're, we're, we're um, trying to be at a goal. Okay, and what's our goal? The victory. It says, um, Philippians 3 and 12 says, Not as though I have already attained it, either we're already perfect, but I follow after it that I may apprehend that I follow, which I also apprehend of a Mashiach, Yahrashai. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended it. So again, going into, you're resting on something that you did two years ago. You know, you're resting on something you did last week. No, you got to constantly be, what, edifying daily. Daily in the temple, Yahrashai taught, and we're trying to be perfect like Yahrashai. Okay, far as in, in rehearsing the righteous acts, right? Brethren, I count not myself to be apprehended but this one thing i do forgetting that those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before i press towards the mark of the prize of the high calling of yahweh and hamashiach yahweh shai okay that mark when you go into it let's see if i can okay con so it's back up okay this mark right strong g 4649 skapas Skapas. Let me go back to this slack here. Yep. And so real quick, is what does it say? Pressing towards the goal. What is the goal? The victory line. Okay. So when you go into this word mark, now there's diff there's different marks in every time that you that you see it. That's why you have to go into the apostles always press us to what go in these words in the Latin and the Spanish, which uh, um which is I think is uh, hermeneutics. Herman, yeah, hermeneutics. Okay, when you go into these different words, they have different meanings and they give you a what a, be, a better understanding. So this this word mark right here. Strong G forty six forty nine. Skapas. Skapas. Okay, observer, a watchman. So through the through the scriptures, we're measuring the time diligently through the scriptures. Okay, um, of what what point that we're at. Okay. Um, far as the wars and rumors of wars, the class wars, the civil wars, the things that would be at the end. That's how we know that we're at the end. And also with the infrastructure of the Karagma being set up, Esau, it says the on that victory, meditate. The goal that reminds me of a scripture. So I'll read this again. I press towards the mark, so I press. So which means what? Do you do you say hey, I got it? It's all good. Let me just chill out. You know, let me relax. No, you press towards it. Toward. Let's get this word toward. Strong's G twenty five ninety six. Kata. Kata. Yep. So that word kata, which goes into the word what um toward. Okay, toward what? 
sal towards salvation, toward Jeharashai, towards that victory. Against, yeah, so we're against the world, but we're pushing towards what down that straight path. Okay, the Lord said he would, what um, was that, Psalms 23? He would guide us, upon, uh, guide us upon still waters. He would give us green pastures, which means to what? To be able to flourish. Okay, that, that goes through that, that hope that the Lord also gave us. Those are roughly paraphrasing that. Right? Um, all right. So I wanted that other word. Let's see. Towards that mark. Oh, yeah. So right here, I wanted this one. Press. Strong's G, 1377. Dioka. Dioka. Yep. To run swiftly in order to catch a person, a thing, to run after. Run after what? The victory. Okay. That goes into what? Put it in the work to be, to press on for figuratively. A one who is in a race that runs swiftly to reach the goal. Okay. Run swiftly. Okay. So again, you're pressing towards the goal. You're on all cylinders to pursue in any way whatsoever to harass, to trouble. Okay. To persecute, okay? And are we being persecuted for the truth? To be mistreated? Are we being mistreated? Okay, right? But the Lord has given us mercy. He's given us comfort. He's given us what we need, that what daily bread, okay? To seek after eagerly, earnestly endeavor to inquire, okay? We're, we're what? We're inquiring what the truth, okay? It says, uh, ensure, follow, and who will be following? The lamb wherever that he goes, Okay? It reminds me of a scripture. This is 1 Corinthians 9 and 24. 1 Corinthians 9 and 24. It says, Yep. Let me, let me, oh yeah, I want to start right here. So it says, 1 Corinthians 9 and 22, it says, To the weak become as weak as that I might gain the weak. I am made all things to all men that I might be all means save more. So again, going into, um, you know, there's a saying in the world far as, you know, you're only as strong as your weakest link. Okay. So again, that goes into what a building brothers up. A bro another brother might be uh, low in faith, but you build them up through, because through, through, you might have heavy faith. So you build them up through that. OK, or vice versa, whatever the case may be, you know, uh, um, you know, a brother might have little understanding. But again, it speaks about that in Sirach 19. A man with little understanding is greater than those that have. Let me just get it real quick. I'll just get it over here. This is Sirach 19. 24. He that has small understanding and feareth Yahweh is better than one that had much wisdom and transgressed. So again, we're all made strong by what the body, by what these lessons going out. That's why it's so important to push out the lessons because you never know who the Lord uh, might have you work through or socket. He might have you um, be a vessel. OK, to be able to give, um, you know, give give some comfort to another. Right. Another brother. First Corinthians nine and twenty three. And this that I do for the gospel's sake that I might be a partaker there there with you. It says, Know ye not that which you run in a race, run at all, but one receiveth the prize, so run that you may obtain it. Okay, so what does running mean? Doing the work. If you attain what? The the goal of what that victory. It says, I want to read this in NLT. It says that all athletes are disciplined in their training. They do it to win a prize that will fade away, but we do it for an eternal prize. Going into <clears throat> this is a light affliction for what? We're fighting for uh, uh, eternity. Okay, the only kingdom that's going to be forever is the kingdom of Yahshua Allah, which is ran by what Yahweh Shai, the king of king, lord of hosts. Okay, these uh these other kingdoms that these heathens have had, they're only what like 250 years, 300 years, and then what the Lord sends forth his prophets and the place gets destroyed. Okay, but this time is going to be an everlasting kingdom. No heathen is ever going to rule again. First Corinthians 1 and 9 and 26. First Corinthians 9 and 26, Slakia. So I run with purpose in every step. I am not just shadow boxing. So again, going into when these epistles go out, okay, you're making sure that you're that you're hitting, and and you're making sure what that you're thorough. You're not just uh, uh you know, uh, uh basically slap boxing. You're actually making sure that these are direct hits, as far as the with the sword, with the spiritual sword, okay, with these lessons, right? 
1 Corinthians 9 and 27, I discipline my body like an athlete, training to do so, which shall otherwise I fear that I have preaching to the others, I myself be disqualified. So going into, you don't want to be a, a laid a castaway. You want to make sure that, that, that you're disciplined in the work. Okay, what putting on the integrity, you know, getting your house in order. There's a scripture. This is uh, Proverbs 25. Because again, if you're not bearing up that cross, whatever that it may be, it might be an addiction. It might be something you got to what put your house in order because the Lord doesn't want anybody that doesn't, that is not able to what take up that cross again, and those sufferings. This is Proverbs 25 and 28. He that hath no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. So that again, that goes into someone that doesn't want to um, admit that they got a problem with something. Okay, because again, the Lord, he might um, not take away something right away. OK, but you're constantly you know, asking the Lord to take it away and he will take it away in due time if he believes that that you don't need it anymore, whatever that it may be. OK, it could be an infirmary, could be a woman, could be your job, whatever that it may be. But the Lord is going to give you what um, the endurance to be able to to get through it. OK. And that you have to believe in that. Um, let's see. Salakia, bear with me. All right, Salakia. So going back to it, Proverbs 25 and 28, it says, He that had no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. So again, whatever that you need help from, you ask Yahabashim Arshai, and you're what? Trusting in him. Okay. So Romans 5 and 3. Romans 5 and 3, it says, And not only... Two, by whom also we have access by faith into the grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope and glory of Yahweh. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations, also knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience and experience in hope. And hope maketh not ashamed, because of the love of Yahweh is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is the Holy Spirit, the Rokakodash, which is given unto us. For when when for when we were yet without strength in due time, Hamashiach died for the ungodly. For scarcely for the righteous man will one die, yet peradventure for a good man and some would even dare to die. But Yahweh commanded his love towards us, and while we were yet sinners, Hamashiach died for us. Okay, so again, the Lord died for us, and we got to realize that we are a, a precious treasure. Okay, that we are a treasure that the Lord has, has chosen, and we're praying, or Slaki has, has called, and we're praying that we're of that chosen line, putting on as the elect. Right. First Peter five and ten. But Yahweh of all grace, who had called us into eternal glory by Hamashiach Yaharashai, that we have suffered while we make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. Okay. To him be glory and dominion forever. Amen. So again, that will be done. Okay. So again, these things are going to be done, but we have to what believe in them. Okay, because what Yahweh Shai has gotten the victory. This is John 16. John 16 and 33. It says, These things have I spoken to you, that you may might have peace in the world. You have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. So the, the Lord, <laughs> let me read that again. Let me read that in NLT. It says, I have told you all this so that you may have peace. And this is Yahweh Shai speaking in red letter. It says, I have told you all this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth, you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because of I because I overcome the world. So again, through much, through much, um, let's just get it. Ecclesiastes 1 and 18. For in much wisdom is much grief, and he that increases knowledge increases sorrow. So again, whatever that your lot is, the higher that you are in your lot, okay, the more and more uh, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding the Lord gives you, the more and more you're going to be persecuted. James 1 and 2, my brethren, okay, faith and endurance, my brethren, count it all joy when thou fall into diverse temptations. Read this in NLT. Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. Knowing this is the triumph.
faith of your patience. Patience goes into long suffering. Okay. It says, but let patience have a perfect work that you may be perfect and tire one in nothing. If any lack wisdom, let him ask of Yahweh, give it to all men liberal and braileth not, and it shall be given to him. Because again, a certain brother might not, ha might not have the understanding of what you're actually going through, but Yahweh Shema Shai does. That's why you ask him without what wavering. Okay. It says six, but let him ask in faith. Yeah, right here. It says right here. Let me read this in NLT. But when you ask him, be sure that your faith is in Yahweh alone. Do not waver for a person. Yeah, so you're like... Well, I don't think he could do that. The Lord has all power. He's omnipotent, right? He knows all things and he knows what you need and what you don't need. James 1 and 6. But when you ask him, be sure that the faith is in Yahweh alone. Do not waver for a person with divided loyalty or is unsettled in a wave of the sea that is blown, tossed, tossed by the wind. So again, you're like, well, he, he can't do that. You know? Yeah. You, you know, that's that's a, a um, that's not the spirit of victory. OK, James 1 and 7 for let not. It says, for let not that man think that he shall receive anything of Yahweh Shai. A double man and man is unstable in all his ways. So again, you want to trust in your own ways. That's why you're always supposed to constantly pray or whatever that you do. And pray that the Lord is able to um, guide you down that, down that straight path. James 1 and 12. Blessed is the man that endured temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life. And when Yahweh Shai had promised them that love him, let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of Yahweh, for Yahweh cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempt he any man. For every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. That when lust has conceived it, it bring forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bring forth death. Okay? And that's the whole point, is to what? Um, it, to um, whatever infirmities that you're going through, to what? Endure them. Because it's a what? Going back to the was that two? Yep. Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles come your way, consider an opportunity for great joy. For when you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So again, your endurance has a chance to grow because again you're being tested. That was one of the things Apostle Ramla was speaking about that that test. Okay? When you're catching hell, are you gonna be able to still what be able to do the work? Okay. Second Timothy three and twelve. Second Timothy three and twelve. Yeah, all it says, yeah, and all that we live godly in Hamashiach, Yaharashai, shall suffer persecution, but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of knowing whom thou hast learned them. Okay. It says, and that the uh, that from the child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto the salvation through faith, which is in Harashai, Saki, Hamashiach, Yaharashai. Okay. It says, all scripture is inspiration of Yahweh and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instruction in righteousness. Okay. Going into, it says, that the man of Yahweh be much, that be, Saki. That the man of Yahweh be perfect, thoroughly furnished into all good works. And yeah, so Yahweh uses it to prepare and equip his people to do every good work. Okay, and that's what he's doing right now. He's equipping us with what? The knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that's going to be able to um, um, give us salvation, to be able to give us that, that victory through what the sufferings. Okay, because the Lord knows what, what can break you and what can make you. Okay. And he's with those that fear him, because a lot of people don't fear the heavenly father, but they will. Okay. They're going to know, have to know what death by pain. This is Psalms. Yeah. Real quick. Psalms 34 and seven, the angel of Yahweh and camp at the round about him that fear him and delivered them. So the Lord's going to deliver what is elect those that fear him. Okay. It says um, 15, the eyes of Yahweh are upon the righteous and its ears are upon onto their cry. The face of Yahweh is against them that do evil. Cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and Yahweh heareth and delivereth them out of their troubles. It says, The Lord Yahweh is nigh unto them that are a broken heart, and saveth such as be a contrite spirit. Many are afflictions of the righteous, but Yahweh deliver him out of them all. So the Lord's going to deliver us out of all these things that we're going through. Okay? He's going to deliver us through all these things, but we got to what? Trust in the Lord. Okay? Because again, though, I want to go back to this. Job 13 and 16. 
Actually, uh, what is that? Um, so I can bear with me. I think it's backwards. Yeah, right here, Khan. This is Job 13 and 15. Though he slay me, yet I will trust in him, but I will maintain my own ways before him. So again, maintain and argue your case with Yahweh Hashem Shai. Okay, whatever that you may need, because you're the one that actually knows what you actually need. Okay, and he's going to give you what, what you know, whatever that's due. Okay, this is 1 Peter 2 and 21. For everyone here unto you called because of Mashiach also suffered for us leaving us an example that we should follow his steps, okay? <clears throat> it says, um, yep, let's see, um, yeah, slaves. It says, servants be subject to their masters with all fear, not only to the good and to the gentle, but also to the forward. Let me read this in NLT. It says, you are my slaves, must accept the authority of the masters with all respect. Do what they tell you. Not only if they're kind and reasonable, but even if they are cruel. For Yahweh is pleased with you when you do what you know is right and patiently endure unfair treatment. Of course, you get no credit for being patient if you are beaten and doing wrong. But if you suffer for doing good and endure it patiently, Yahweh is pleased with you. For Yahweh is for how suck it for Yahweh called you to do good and even means suffering, just as Hamashiach suffered for you. He is your example, and you must follow in his steps. Okay, so we're supposed to follow in his steps because it speaks about that in John 15 and about, I think it's like 17, John 15 and 17. Yep. So let's get um, 17. These things I command you that you love one another. If the world, uh, it says, if the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Remember that the word I said unto you, that the servant is not greater than his Lord, Yahweh Shai. If they persecuted me, then they will also persecute you. If you have kept my saying, you will also keep these also. But all these things will they do unto thy namesake, because you know not him that sent me. If he had not come and spoken unto them that had no sin, but now they have no cloak for their sin. Okay, so again, going into the ones that mock and they scoff, those that are, you know, persecuting you or, you know, your friends and foes that come up against you. Okay, so again, that's just part of the thing because we have to be persecuted just like Yahrashai was uh, persecuted, as I read in Matthews uh, 27. But what was he given? All power. Okay, this is uh, 2 Corinthians uh, five and seven. Second Corinthians five and seven. It says, for we walk by faith, not by sight, for we are confident. I say, I will rather be absent from the body and be present to Yahweh Shai. Wherefore we labor that we, whether present or absent, we may be accepted of him. For we must all appear for the judgment seat of a Mashiach that everyone may receive the things done in the body according to he had done, whether it be good or whether it be bad. So again, going into what bearing that cross. Okay, holding on to that cross. This is the point right here. It says, for we walk by faith, not by sight. So again, the Lord is the one that guides our path. Okay, and whatever that we got to do. This is Psalms 145 and 18. Actually, let me let me start right here. This is this is uh, Psalms 18 and 2. Psalms 18 and 2. It says, the Lord Yahweh is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my my power, Yahweh, my strength in him who I would trust, my buckler in the horn of my salvation in my high tower. Okay, he's the one that's going to be able to lift us up when that flood comes in. Through our what persec through our persecutions, right? This is Psalms 145 and 18. Psalms 145 and 18. The Lord Yahweh is nigh unto them that call upon him to call upon the truth. He will fulfill the desire of them that fear him, and he will also hear their cry and will save them. The Lord Yahweh preserve it, all them that he love it, but the wicked he will destroy. My mouth shall speak the praise of Yahweh and let all the flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Okay. Going into what that victory, because the Lord has what power over uh, Slaki. The Lord has power over death. 
Okay, and ultimately this is what we want right here. This is I ended in this uh, scripture. This is two. Sakia, this is two and um about thirty six. Yep, it says. Yep. Okay, I'm going to end it in this chapter. And this goes into Yahweh Shai putting the crowns upon uh, the men of the Lord that stood stiffly for the word. Those that endured with the persecution. Okay. Second Ezra 2. And again, going into that victory. Okay, going into what those palms in your hand. Lord willing, right? This is second Ezra 2. And 34, and therefore I say unto you, O heathen, understand, look for your shepherd, and he shall give you everlasting rest, for he is nigh at hand that shall come in the end of the world. Okay? So again, that heathen is actually speaking about us because we were what in a, in a heathen state of mind. We didn't know who we were. We were Israelite foreigners. We were in a Hellenistic, uh, uh, you know, uh, we were Hellenized. Okay? Again, we were, you know, like you have over here in America. OK, um, you know, you're Americanized, you're black, you know, you're all these different things. But again, you're actually Hebrew Israelite. So the Lord is what having us come back. That's why Apostle Paul had spoke to what the Israelite foreigners. Right. And these different, you know, Galatia, Corinthians, you know, um, all these different uh, Ephesians. Right. All these different places. Those are written by stories. Rome, where we were that we were following after heathen customs. But the Lord is bringing us back to um, redemption to that shepherd. It says, he is nigh at hand that shall come in the end of the world. Be ready to be reward. The kingdom for the everlasting light shall shine upon forevermore. Flee the shadow of the world. Receive the joyfulness and glory. I testify my savior openly. I receive the gift that is given and be glad, giving thanks unto him that hath led into heavenly kingdom. And arise and stand up. Behold the number of those that be sealed in the feast of Yahweh which are departed from the shadow of the world and have received the glorious garments of Yahweh Okay, take the whole, it says, take thy number, O Zion, and, sh and shut up those that thine are clothed in white, and have fulfilled the law of Yahweh Shai. It says, the number of the children whom thou longest for is fulfilled, beseech thy power of Yahweh Shai, that the people you have been called from the beginning may be, may be hallowed. So again, going into that first church, going back to the heavenly father and his son, Yahweh Shai, Exodus 13 and 2. It says, I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Zion a great people, which could not number, and thou all praise, and Yahweh Shai with songs. Okay, going into what this new song being sung, right? It says, um, in the midst thereof was a young man. Yeah, so in the midst thereof was a young man, high in stature. That's Yahweh Shai. Taller than all the rest, upon every one of their heads, he set crowns. Okay, going into that victory, right? And he was more exalted, which marveled at greatly. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, It says, These be that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of Yahweh. And now are they crowned and they receive the palms. So the palms goes into victory, that palm branch. When you look it up on Google, it says it goes into victory, right? It says, They said unto the angel, What young person is it that the crown with them and give with them palms in their hands so he answered and said unto me it is the son of yahweh which is yahweh shai he is the deliverer he is the savior of the israelites right whom have you confessed the world they begin i greatly command that you stood so stiffly for the name of yahweh shai so stood stiffly you didn't go you didn't start talking about christ okay christ most high christ bless yahshua all these different things that that would lead to the what death Okay, you were calling on the name of Yahweh Shai, which is what in the ancient Hebrew. Okay. It says, um, let me read this again, 47. So he answered and said unto me, it is the son of Yahweh. So Yahweh Shai is the son of oh, the Heavenly Father Yahweh, whom they have confessed in the world. So we're confessing right now who we stand for on that rock. They begin, I greatly commend you, that stood so simply for the name of Yahweh Shai. Then the angel said unto me, 
Go thy way and tell my people what manner of things and how great wonders of Yahrashai, thy power, thou hast seen. So again, going into, he's telling Ezra as to what, go tell our people of what the victory is at hand. Okay. The redemption is, you know, redemption is right here. Okay. But again, only elect is going to be able to have that understanding. Okay. As long as you have a couple of scriptures, this is wisdom of Solomon, uh, 10, 10 and, and about like 16, I think it is wisdom of Solomon 10 and 12. She defended him. Okay. She is going into wisdom, defended him from his enemies and kept him safe from those that lay in wait and sore conflict. She gave him the victory that he might know that the goodness is stronger than all. Okay. Yahweh is, is better than anything. Okay. Far, you know, well, the heavenly father, Yahweh, but far as the, the, you know, believing in Yahweh Shema Shai. Okay. That's greater than anything because that is what righteousness, right? And the ones that will get the victory, they're going to have those crowns upon their head are going to be what? This is Revelation 15 and 2. Revelation 15 and 2. Yeah, and I saw it was a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast and over the image, over his mark, and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of the glass, having the harps of Yahweh. And they sang the song of Moses, the servant of Yahweh, and the son of the Lamb. Okay, that, that Lamb is Yahweh saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Yahweh thy power, almighty, just, and true are always, and thou king of thy saints. Who shall not fear? Yahweh glorify thy name, and for thou art holy, for all for all the nations shall come and worship before thee, and thy judgments are made manifest. After I looked, behold, the temple of the tabernacle testimony, the heaven was open, and the seven angels came out of the temple, having seven plagues, clothed in pure white linen, having the breast girded with the golden girdles. One of the four beasts gave unto the seven angels seven golden vials, full of the wrath of Yahweh, who, who liveth forever and ever. Okay? It says, And the temple was filled with smoke, glory of Yahweh, and from his power no man was able to enter into the temple till the seven plagues of the seven angels were fulfilled. Okay? And we're, you know, the basis of that was right here in 2. It says, Revelation 15 and 2. The ones that have gotten the victory. Okay? No, what, no evils had touched you. Now, you're going to be, you know, you know, ruffled up or whatever, but the thing is, is that ultimately you're going to be saved. Revelation 15 and 2. And I saw it was a sea glass of mingled with fire that had gotten the victory over the beast and over his image and over the mark, over the number of his name and the sea of the glass, having the harps of Yahweh. And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of Yahweh, the son of the lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works. And Yahweh Shai, almighty and just and true are always thou king of thy saints. OK, just and true. This word is what just and true. Those that believe in it, those that what bear that cross. OK, those that what endure to the end. OK, so with that. Call Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakhakwadash. All praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Shalom to Let Kwam Yahshallah.